hi guys how y'all doing welcome back to my youtube channel this is purity please remember to like share and subscribe to my youtube channel so today we are crocheting this beautiful pink sweater with a blue ribbon it's so so pretty it's vibes and it's cozy and warm especially during this cold season it's really 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 coming through well so please remember to subscribe to my channel and let me show you the close-up of the sweater then we'll get into the work We are using chunky yarn and this is Seagull. Seagull is a Kenyan brand yarn and I like how smooth it is. As much as it's acrylic, it's kind of smooth. And we are using a 4.5 mm hook, a tape measure and a pair of scissors for this project. So that's all we need for this project. So to begin we are starting with a slip knot this is how i do my slip knot then we will do 15 inches of that is my shoulder to shoulder measurement so if your size small do 15 inches or 57 chains but for the other sizes please take your shoulder to shoulder measurements and that will be your foundation chain but for size small you can do 57 chains which is equivalent to 15 inches so this is my 15 inches that is shoulder to shoulder measurements that is our foundation chain so after you chain 57 add two more chains then yarn over and do a double crochet before doing a double crochet make sure you skip the first two stitches from the hook so skip the first two stitches from the hook and do a double crochet on the third stitch. So if you are careful enough, you'll, you'll notice I didn't add two more inches on my 15 inches because I want my sweater fitting. So this is a fitting sweater. That's why I didn't add two more inches. But if you want your sweater a bit big, you can add two more inches to your shoulder to shoulder measurement. So right now we are doing double crochets across the 57 chains so this is how we do double crochets and we're doing double crochets all through the 57 chains So this is how your double crochets should look like and right now I'm just completing on my final stitches so I'm on the second last double crochet and this is my last double crochet so on your last double crochet always remember to chain two to start a new row so chain two and turn your work to begin a new row so after you've turned your work on the first stitch do a double crochet and we're doing double crochets all through so i'm at the end of row two this is the end of our row two and i'm winding up on a couple of double crochets before 
I chain to and turn my work. So always remember at the end of your work to always chain to and turn your work to begin a new row. So this is my last double crochet and I'll chain two. There is one, two, turn your work and begin a new row on the first stitch after the chain two. So that is the pattern and you're going to do that until you get to a length of 20 inches. Always remember to chain two at the end of your work and turn your work to begin a new row. So I'll do that until I get to 20 inches. Then we will begin something else after we've done with 20 inches. This is just two rows, but you have to go all the way to 20 inches. If you want a longer sweater, you can make your sweater longer or shorter depending on your preference. So this is 20 inches and it looks like this. So my sweater has stretched a bit. It has stretched with 1.3 inches. Right now it's 16.3 inches. And you remember when we started, we took um shoulder to shoulder measurements, which was 15 inches reason why i didn't want to add the two inches because i wanted my sweater fitting and this yarn kind of stretches so if you want a baggy sweater you all you can always add two more inches but i wanted a fitting one so that's why we went to 15 inches and now it's 16.3 which is still okay it will still be fitting so this is the back panel i'm doing a slip knot then i will chain 57 so it's the same same thing we did with the front panel i mean sorry the back panel the first thing we did was the back panel so this is the front panel so chain 57 which is 15 inches then we will do double crochets so whichever number of chains you had for the back panels will be the same with the front panel so this is 57 chains and I want to do double crochets just the same way we did with the back panel. So you remember after the 57 chains, you always add two chains. That is 59, 57 plus 2 is 59. Then you'll always keep the first two stitches and on the third stitch, that's where you put your double crochet. So that's what I was doing there. So right now I'm just doing the double crochets. So we're done with the back panel and the width has also stretched to 16.3 inches. That's the measurement that I'm trying to show you guys. It's 16.3 inches and the length of this sweater is 14 inches. And like the back panel, which was 20 inches, it's because we want to put a slit at the front of this sweater. So we are putting a slit at the side of the sweater that's why we doing 14 inches so this is 14 inches length and width is 16.3 inches so right now we want to put our slit and we are folding our front panel into half just fold your front panel into half like that and Fold it again into the second half, just like that. So you have two halves. 
meaning this is the quarter of the front panel because we want to find a side where we'll put our stitch marker then put our slate so find a side you like and put a stitch marker just like this just follow through what i'm doing you'll understand better I'm using these yellow strings as my stitch markers so just put stitch markers on the half side that you had folded you can put stitch marker or use strings so these strings are my stitch markers so I put the stitch markers and now it's time to determine which side I want my slit to be either on the right or left side but mine was on my left side so determine where you want your slits to be and start crocheting so from the stitch marker we will skip two stitches from where the stitch marker starts so skip two stitches from the stitch marker after you've decided which side you want your slit to be so mine is on the left side so reattach your yarn and do double crochets until you get to two stitches to your stitch marker. So these are two stitches to my stitch marker and this way I turn my work after I've changed two. So leave two stitches to your stitch marker. So we continue with double crochets just the same way we were doing the others. Chain two, turn your work, then do double crochets all through. So we'll do double crochets until 20 inches. So that's the pattern so do double crochets until you get to 20 inches so i added six inches to the 14 inches so it becomes 20 remember the back panel was 20 inches so the front panel should also be 20 inches so i added six inches to the 14 inches so it's now 20. now we are working on the other side on the right side of the front panel and remember to leave only two stitches in between so we are leaving two stitches in between our stitch marker so that's how we make our slit so let me show you a close-up on how the other side looks before we start on this other side so we're doing we're going to do double crochets on on this other side too until we get to the stitch marker so i did 10 rows these are 10 rows so insert your hook and do the same to the other side and just leave two stitches as we left so stitch up to the stitch marker turn around and do 10 rows So don't cut off your yarn after 10 rows because we are doing edging using single crochets. 
so we are doing edging all round all round i mean at the bottom part of the front panel and the slit area so this is the slit area and we are doing edging in the slit area and the bottom part using single crochets So this is how the slit area looks after I've done edging. So finish finish up on your edging. Remember to also do the other longer side, this side. Do edging on the bottom part of that area too. And I'll meet you once you're done. And we are using single crochets. So once you're done, we'll come at the neck area. We want to make the neck area. And we will have a space of 5 inches in between. So 5 inches in between 5.5 on one side, 5.5 on the other side, then 5 inches in the middle. So take your tape measure and have a stitch marker and measure 5.5 and put a stitch marker where the 5.5 stops just like i'm doing and that's where your neck area will stop and also take measurements on the other side 5.5 and put a stitch marker and that's where your neck line will stop so do that and i'll see you when you're doing the neck line So reattach your yarn, remove your stitch marker and we are going to start immediately where we have removed our stitch marker to make double crochets. So that's the middle part where I had put a stitch marker. So we are working from the middle part going to the end. So we will make three rows of double crochets. So this is how the three rows look and we are going to do the same to the other side. So start from where we put our stitch marker to the end and do other three rows. So 
so we are done and this is how our neck area looks you should have something that resembles this by now so let's take our measurements and see if it's accurate so the middle part is five inches so this is five inches and the other side should be 5.5 inches each so let's just confirm that then move forward so that's accurate now take your other piece which is the back panel and do the same thing use a tape measure to measure 5.5 .5 inches at the sides and make sure the middle part of your neck is 5 inches and do the same thing that you've done to the front panel make three rows of double crochets and make sure it's 5 inches in between 5.5 .5 at the sides and have something like this so you should have something like this two panels that resemble at the neck area a slit at the front side part and will be good to go to make the sleeves so i went ahead and made one of the sleeves and this is how it looks i want to show you how i made these leaves i used sing double crochets and single crochets at the back loop that's how the bottom part became so slim and tight at the wrist area so let's start with the other sleeve so to begin we are doing a slip knot as usual and then we will chain 40 so do a slip knot and chain 40 40 is our foundation chain for the sleeve area so these are 40 chains and this is how the 40 chains look after you're done with 40 chains we are chaining two more chains as usual 40 plus 2 that's 42 then we'll skip two stitches from the hook and on the third stitch we'll do a double crochet it's a repetition of what you've been doing so do that and do double crochets all through until you get to 14 rows so do 14 rows of double crochets So I'm done with my 14 rows and this is 15 inches in length. 14 rows is equivalent to 15 inches in length. So this is the length of our sleeve. This is 15 inches. So let's start with the reduction. finish up on the last double crochet and we do the front part of our sleeve so that's the last stitch and if we look at the other sleeve it has this front part that's what we want to work on right now so that it holds firmly your wrist area so we are chaining 14 chain 14 just after the double crochet chain 14 so once you're done with your 14 chains we will go down using single crochets so these are 14 chains and we are going 
down the 14 chains using single crochets just watch this it's more easier watching than me explaining i, I guess <laughs> so once you're done with your 14 single crochets skip the first stitch go to the second stitch that's a reduction that we're doing and do three slip stitches so that's our very first reduction i'll repeat this like thrice so you understand so that is our third slip stitches we are doing reductions Then after you're done, turn your work and skip the three slip stitches. Skip the three slip stitches that we did. Go to the first single crochet and do single crochets at the back loop. At the back loop, this is how it's done. We're doing single crochets at the back loop only this is how it's done instead of chaining three two you are chaining through one only so do that until you get to the top when you get to the top you will chain one turn your work then i'll meet you at the back here so that I explain again how to do the reduction So once you are at the top, always remember to chain one and we are still working single crochets at the back loop only. So that's what we are doing. We are working at the back loop until you get down here. Then we will do our reduction. So we'll do single crochets at the back loop till we get here. We'll skip this first stitch, work on the second one, then do three slip stitches. Okay, so that's how we do the reduction. Do single crochets, then skip the first stitch, go to the next one, do three slip stitches. Just like this. I've skipped the first stitch, went to the second one, doing three slip stitches. Then I'll turn my work and on the first single crochet, I'll work on the back loop only using single crochets going up and that's the pattern.
So I'm at the end and we only have two stitches left. So we'll just go down and we'll have one slip one slip knot only then go up using back loop single crochets. That's what we will do then. We will cut our yarn and do your next sleeve the same same pattern and I'll meet you once you're done. So I am done with my two sleeves and this is how they look. They should be similar height and length. So make sure they resemble each other. And we are going to attach this to the front and back panel so that we complete our sweater. This is how they look and now we want to reattach them to the body so this is the front panel and we are using this is a 2.5 mm hook we will use this to join the sleeves and the front and back panel together and we will use single crochets so we are starting with the neck area and we are using single crochets to join so reattach your yarn and use single crochets to join the neck area first. So we are done and this is how it looks. So finish the other side using single crochets too. And this is how both sides should look. These are joined together using single crochets. This is the inside, the outside part will look like this. This is the outside part. So pretty. So... I hope your work looks like this and now we want to join the sleeves so take one of your sleeve and put it on the middle no i mean fold it on the middle so that we determine the middle parts this is how i do mine so that's my middle part and i'll reattach it to the middle part of my neck area so that's how i know where the middle part will be this is so basic information i think <laughs> this is the most basic way you can do this the easiest and basic way so after you've known the middle part just go to the end make sure you don't move your outfit so you know you have the correct measurement because you're not using tape measure and stitch markers so use single crochets 
to reattach both of them and I'll meet you once you're done. So this is how it looks after we're done reattaching it using single crochets. That is the inside part and this is the outside part. It's so neat. I like how it looks and that was the simplest way of reattaching the sleeve to the body. So do the same to the other side and I'll meet you once you're done so that we attach the rest of the arms and the rest of the body So this is how the sleeve area looks like after we're done with the attachments. So we are using single crochets to attach the rest of the parts, the rest of the hands and the rest of the front and back panel together. Use single crochets to attach together. I've seen you, I've shown you how it's done. And after you're done, this is how your sweater should look like. And now we'll start working on the neck area. So we are starting to work on the neck area. Reattach your yarn at the neck area and we are using double crochets. We're just doing two rows of double crochets. 
and we will be done so reattach your yarn and do double crochets all around the neck area until you come to where you started and we will stitch together using a slip knot and do the second row then we will be done so do that and i'll meet you at the end so i'm completing the first row of my double crochets that is at the neck area um then we will attach both of them using a slip knot then we'll chain two and do a second row of double crochets then we will be done with the neck area so do that and i'll meet you at the end so we're done with our sweater and this is how it looks make sure you cut off the loose yarn and stitch in the loose yarn that's supposed to be stitched make your sweater look beautiful and perfect and eye-catching so we're finishing up by making the decoration on the left side which is the blue ribbon and i want to show you guys how i put the blue ribbon i chose the x stitches you can choose zigzag or straight or whichever design that you want and this is how i was putting the x design on the sweater using this blue ribbon
so guys this is the end of this video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please remember to like share and subscribe to my youtube channel see you in the next video goodbye